Welcome to the video series, Six Steps to IT Documentation. My name is Rachel Hutchinson, and in the following videos, I will guide you through the areas of infrastructure, networks, servers, clients, software and licenses, and services, demonstrating how I do it can help you to fully document your IT infrastructure. Before we start creating devices, software and services, we must first create the foundations, the infrastructure. So that is today's topic in part one of the series. I will show you how to quickly create the locations, buildings, rooms and server racks of your company. iDoit offers you the opportunity to navigate your own IT landscape. Besides the clearly structured tree view, building and room plans can also be used to get a detailed overview. If you need information about which systems are in the server rack, with just one click, you will get a visualized overview of slide-ins and the devices they contain. I will also show you how to import your existing documentation quickly and easily into iDoit. Let's start with the live demo. If you would like to test iDoit, you can request a 30-day test version free of charge and with no obligations at www.idoit.com slash trial. On the overview page, you will find all the necessary access data, your test license and the iDoit add-ons. Of course, you can also use all the add-ons without any restrictions during the test period. You can decide if you want to install iDoit directly onto an existing server or if you want to run it as a virtual appliance under Hyper-V or VMware for testing on a client. Ready? Let's do it. The first time we start iDoit, we are asked to install our license. Click on License Administration to open the Admin Center. After we have registered our license, we can activate it and install additional add-ons if necessary. Please log out and log back in so that the changes are applied. We are now on the dashboard. iDoit already has over 100 predefined object types divided into four categories, software, infrastructure, other and contact. Each user can customize their dashboard and extend it with numerous widgets. In the upper right hand corner, you can see how many objects you currently use and for how long your license is valid. In the category software, we find applications and system services, as well as extensive possibilities to map cluster services, databases and licenses. This means you can completely map your software and license management in iDoit. Under the category Infrastructure, you will find object types to map the basic infrastructure, such as cities, buildings and rooms. It also includes IT equipment such as servers, telephones, clients, printers, cables and server cabinets. All other object types are grouped in the category Other. Here you will find Layer 2 and Layer 3 networks, SIM cards and mobile phones, contracts, one lines, services, and much more. In the category contact, you can create and manage organizations, groups, and users. In addition to companies, this also includes employees, stakeholders, suppliers, service providers, and organizations connected with your company. You can also create your own object types and categories and configure them freely. Would you like to have your own object type for your product? No problem. I do it can be as unique as your company. We will now create a company with offices in Berlin and Paris. To do this, we select the object type city and create a new object via new. The object should now be given a suitable and unique name. We then select the root location as the location. The root object represents the topmost part of our tree structure. 
After saving the object, we switch to the location view and see it below the root object. The next step is to set up our branch in the city. We recommend always using unique names to be able to clearly identify branches later in reports and overviews. This time we select the object type building, assign a unique name to it and select our newly created city under location. This procedure is especially helpful if you have several branches in one city. Since our branch is divided into two floors, we have to create a completely new type of property. For this purpose, we go into the infrastructure and create a new individual object type called floor. What is important here is that objects of this type should be able to be selected as locations for other objects because in the next step we want to add different rooms to the floor. If we now save our object type, it immediately appears in the left navigation and we can create our first floor. We now want to create the ground floor and the first floor. To do this we proceed as before and create a new object with its own name and location. We can simply duplicate our created object and give it an alternative name. It automatically adopts all the properties of the original, including its location. To complete our infrastructure, we still have to add various rooms. Again, there is a predefined object type that we can use for the creation. Below these rooms, we will later document our workstations, IT equipment and network sockets. Now I would like to show you an even faster way to create your infrastructure. Individual objects and even the entire infrastructure can be easily imported via CSV files. This is particularly helpful if you have previously documented your IT systems in Excel and would like to use iDoIt as a central solution in the future. We will now import our branch office in another city with the branch building, several floors and dozens of rooms as a CSV file. For this, we only need a table in which we enter the name, the respective object types and their locations in three columns. To be able to import this data immediately, the table must be saved as a CSV file. Via the menu category Extras to CMDB to Import, we get to the Import Interfaces. In addition to the CSV import, you can also choose from a wide range of other interfaces to import data and information. In the CSV import section, we now upload the CSV file we have created and use it for the import. In the upper part, we can now define an object type. Since we don't want to define an object type, but have specified rooms and floors in our CSV file building, we prepare the mapping, but do not make any configuration here. The column headers of our CSV file are now displayed in the lower part. We now have to assign these to the corresponding categories in iDoIt. We can also save the assignments as profiles so that we're able to load them easily again if necessary. After the import is completed, we can see via the location view that the entire infrastructure has been created from our CSV file. Infrastructure, completed in seconds. We create a new object of the object type rack, assign a name and select our server room as the location. Next, we need to specify how many height units our rack has. Once the configuration is complete, we open the overview page and get a visualized display of the freely available rack slots. The view is scaled according to the measurement of height units. The existing slots can be additionally segmented or supplemented by vertical slots. As you can see, it is also possible to install devices at the back. This gives you the possibility to realize a one-to-one -one documentation of your rack. In the next part of the series, we will show you how easy it is to install devices. The server rack view is a great way to quickly get a detailed overview of the devices installed. In addition, we receive extensive information about which connections are free or occupied. 
Power consumption and heat generation are also calculated automatically. iDoIt thus actively supports you in your capacity management and helps you plan the introduction of new IT systems based on complete IT documentation. So this brings us to the end of our first part, infrastructure. We have created all the necessary locations, rooms and server racks that we will need in the next part of the series to document our network. iDoIt offers over 100 predefined object types out of the box to fully document your infrastructure. You also have the possibility to create your own object types and provide them with the required information. Using the CSV import, you can import your existing documentation within a few minutes to make it centrally available with iDoIt. With detailed statistics and information about which ports are free or occupied, you can improve your server, capacity and rack management in the long term. I would be happy if you join us for the second part of our series, where we will be focusing on the topic of network documentation. If you have any further questions about iDoIt, please contact us at sales at We look forward to seeing you again.